All right, so I've been procrastinating on this repair. This is a Toshiba Satellite A665. The customer was having problems where the speakers are all crackly, so we're gonna be attempting to replace those speakers. Um, I have another old laptop that has been abandoned. It's so old, the customer just gave it to me and said they don't want it. But I think the speakers are the same. The design looks very, very similar. Um, this one's a lot dirtier and grosser, but more gross. Sorry, grosser, I don't think is a word. Anyways, we're going to be trying to replace the speakers. So this is, I guess, going to be two computers. I'm going to actually split it to two videos, so I'm doing two computers. Um, but yeah, so for some reason I'm not tired. And as you can see, it is 5.01 a.m., March 11th. And yeah. All right, let's go ahead and do this repair. I, I don't know why I'm not tired, but I'm not tired. So let's go ahead, pop this thing apart. Two, ba uh, two battery tabs, pop those aside. Um, I probably should have hid this information here. I don't know if it was visible. Um, if it was visible, I'm gonna have to edit it. Anyways, let's go ahead and PH1, JS1. Um, we're going to have to completely disassemble this thing. So you want to keep all the screws in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. I like to usually go in rows. So we're going to go with the four screws up here in a row. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. Two and three and four. All right. What else do we got? Okay, let's go ahead and do these four in a row, even though they're not technically all in a row. They're like all wobbly all over the place. All right. If you want, you can align them more like wiggly all around so you can kind of keep track of it better. But uh, I feel like these four are pretty much a row, so we're just going to keep it that way. There we go. Those four out. I'm going to get this screw out. Um, is that part of this cover? Yes. Okay, we're gonna get under here, pop that up. There we go. We'll set that aside. We got two sticks of RAM. I'm only gonna take out one just to show. We pull these two tabs to the side. The RAM pops up. Pull it out just like this. Here you can see this is two gigs PC3 8500s. So if you want, you can get two four gig sticks. I don't know if they make eight gigs of sticks of this. Um, but you want to get matching sticks. Anyways, we're going to put this back and you want them to be PC3 8500S and they should work. Um, actually, there's a sticker under here. I mean, this laptop is so old. I don't think anyone's going to need model numbers of old whatever. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, um, you can check yours because it's really easy to get to that. So if you think you some for some reason need that information, just pop yours open and give that a check. All right, so there's the RAM. Hard drive is down here. Um, if you're, I've had people ask if they have to remove other screws before removing other screws that, that I've done. So no, you only need to remove the screw for the hard drive here to get to the hard drive. You don't have to take the other eight screws I took out earlier. Um, this one doesn't stay attached to the cover, so keep that in mind. You wanna keep track of that. You don't wanna lose it anywhere. All right, hard drive comes out like this. Let me, there's too much stuff here. All right, we're going to slide this over just like that, and then we can lift it up with this um, tab, and we can take that out. So there's the hard drive. We'll set that aside. This is a 2.5-inch SATA hard drive. You can take the four screws out here, and you can replace this with a 2.5-inch SATA SSD. Um, after you remove the four screws, the hard drive actually just slides up like that, and then you can drop the new one in. Um, if you are upgrading to an SSD, you do want to clone the hard drive to the SSD first. Um, or you have to create a Windows install boot drive so that way you can just boot from that and do a clean install. All right, anyways, let's continue removing screws. We got three here. I might start another row just to make it easier for me. I don't know if I'm going to have to remove the keyboard first. Um, sometimes it helps to look up the parts and then you can see how like if there's screw holes or anywhere in it, and then you can see if you have to remove screws that you didn't remove. All right, if you're wondering how I kind of sometimes figure out things, um, that's sometimes how I do it. I'll look for parts, I'll look for motherboards or whatever I need. Okay, those three were there. This was down here, this was here. Okay. So put 
that. All right, then we got three more or four more down here. Okay, I'm actually like starting new rows of screws because I don't have enough room to move stuff around here. Okay, anyways, now that we got all those screws out, let's see what we got. Um, oh, we're going to have to remove the CD drive here. I usually use my fingernail here, but as you can see, this one I chipped it, I had to cut it off, so let's try with this. So we do that while we're pulling it, and there we go, popped out pretty easily. If it doesn't come out, you can use a needle or a bent small, um, or a straightened out small paper clip push it in there that will eject the drive you can pull the tray as far as it'll go and then grab the extended part of the tray don't grab the this part when you pull it the part that extends out you want to grab that all right we'll set the cd drive apart um, also you can replace this with the two and a half inch sata um, adapter they have adapters so you can add another hard drive instead of cd drive since a lot of people don't use cds anymore um, we got okay there's no screws hidden under there just melted plastic Let's see, can we pop this out now, or are we going to have to do something special with the keyboard? Um, the screws don't really seem that long that they're going to be in the keyboard, but I could be wrong. Um, let's see, so a lot of times these keyboards, you use a thin flat tool here. I think we're going to have to lift this out because it is moving. So I'll slide this tool along here, and usually I can feel like if there's a clip or something in there, in this case, I don't even feel clips, but it is popping up, so that's kind of weird. Okay, so we're going to pop that up. We're going to get underneath, hold this in place, and then we kind of just slide it along and see if there's more areas to pop. I don't know. It's popping up, but I didn't feel any spots that were actually popping up. Then what I'm doing is I'm pulling my fingers up to flex the keyboard like this. That way it pulls these inwards, okay? And then we can get that out. So we're going to do the same thing here. I'm pulling it up. I'm using my thumb and palm to kind of help flex it like this and here you can see the keyboard comes out pretty easily we got these connectors here I'm gonna grab that oh let me zoom in for you guys here okay so we're gonna now grab this little part I don't know if you can see that the darker grayish whatever color that is I don't know all right then we can pull that out then the keyboard one same thing um, we're gonna go along the sides here grab that pull that back and hopefully you can actually see that's I pulled that white or cream or beige or whatever color that is and now we got this released all right um, keyboard model number you might ow so here's one of the clips here I swept my fingers across and it like okay it didn't cut me but it felt like it did um, there's the model number of the keyboard so if you need a replacement keyboard you can check that um, but again I think these models are all very similar Toshiba makes so many of these same like looking models I believe the keyboards are basically the same the only difference is it has a different like pattern texture color or something um, let's go ahead and zoom out again and there are screws under here or at least one okay so there's one screw here Let's go ahead and remove that. Okay, let's see, what do we got? This one is a, so these kinds, I believe they're called like ZIF or zero insertion force connectors. These kinds, I forget what they're called. There's no pull tab or anything. We're just gonna have to slide that connector out. I wanna make sure I don't knock the screws over. But basically you grab this plastic tab here and then you wanna be careful and just pull it straight back. So straight back just like that and it comes out okay we've got this connector here I think is for the speakers so I'm gonna grab that we give that a wiggle 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 come on wiggle 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 just keep wiggling it don't yank too hard or you can actually rip this off so I don't know if you can see but I'm just keep wiggling it like this and it should eventually <laughs> keyword eventually walk its way out I don't know why this one's like so tough maybe it's so old there we go all right what do we got next we got I don't think I have to take the wireless antennas out we do have to take this connector up here out I'm gonna leave the wireless antennas in place because I don't think I have to remove them I'm gonna grab this blue tab and again pull it straight back or away from this the slot there we go and if you damage this I think you're 
power button and all these things up here will be broken. So you want to be careful. Um, and then this one is for the touchpad trackpad, I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's zoom out a bit more and we're going to... If this is exactly the same as the other one, just because the other one is so dirty, um, I'm probably just going to put this, the model number of the other one on this video. Um, anyways, I don't know what this slot's for. I'm assuming it's for a M SATA SSD, but I'm not sure. Oh, there was another screw hole or screw down here. Um, it's camouflaged really well, so you want to be careful. Hopefully you got that out as well. And again, this video or this model is so old, I don't know how many people are going to need help with this or use this video. Hopefully some people will benefit from it. All right, so now what we're going to do, we got this gap here. I usually will get my fingernails in that. Let's see if I can. Okay, oops, sorry. I got my fingernails in there, and then I push with my thumb and pull with that. We're going to go across. All right, same thing over here. Going across. Okay, this part, I don't know why it's stuck so strong. Are there like some hidden screws somewhere here that I missed? I don't see any. It could be this, um, the LED bar over here, the notification or whatever those, hard drive activity and all those. Um, maybe that's causing problems. So let's continue going over this way. Might have to kind of wiggle this and wiggle this as we pull it, maybe. No, it doesn't want to come out. Am I missing something here? All right, let's uh, go this way. Let's see if I go from this side. So I'm going to push here. Nope. Am I going to have to use both? Nah, I don't know. Where are these clips in here? Come out, please. Come out, please. Okay, we're going to go from this side because I can actually get my fingers in there. You can see actually these uh, notification lights or whatever activity lights are um, coming up with the palm rest. So... I'm going to have to be careful there. If I just pull this, I might end up ripping those lights off. Hmm. What? What is going on here? I don't know if... Do I have to push from the bottom here or something? Um, pretty sure I got all those screws out. Yeah, I don't know what's holding that. And I, wanna, I don't want to just rip it out because that can be risky. So let's try and go from up here. Maybe I have to open the screen more so I can kind of get back here. And can I pop these out? Oh my goodness. This one's like stuck in there. Um, all right, we flipped it over. Uh, okay, I think there's some clips here that I probably will have to pry up somehow. Okay, this is more work than I thought, just to replace speakers on this thing. Um, let's see, it's not, I guess technically not more work, it's more tricky than I thought. Okay, sometimes if you pull from the center, it pulls the clips inwards like that. So let's see if lifting from here is going to help at all. No. <sighs> let's see here. Okay, that's coming out. I'm going to have to use my pry tools and just pop this whole thing apart. That sounds dangerous. Okay, getting in there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's, are there, oh, there's no clips on here. Okay, so there's no clips that hold the trackpad to the other cover. So let me, I can pull from this side, I think. There we go. Okay. Just had to pull a little harder and from the trackpad side. Now we can wiggle this out and... Awesome, we got access to the speakers right here. So, we're going to do a speed run on the other model. <laughs> and we're probably just going to take the speakers out. Let me actually um, do a quick look inside here. I'm not going to take this stuff out because I don't want to risk damaging other things. You can see here, you got the fan here. There is a fan model number there. If for some reason your fan is screwed up, I don't know if you can read that. Uh, KSB06105HA um, and if you need uh, some phonetics um, Karen, Steve, um, Bob, 06105, Henry, Apple okay or Alpha or whatever you want to use okay so we got that out you can see there's this little card reader in here all this stuff is integrated you have the CMOS BIOS 
RTC real-time clock battery here soldered to this um, so you have to use to solder to get this out um, I don't see why they do this you can actually solder on one of those with a removable battery if you wanted uh, but yeah you have to like know how to solder okay you got this connector here for the audio jacks and the two USB ports you got this connector here for the lights here all right and the wireless card as you can see stays in you got the DC jack charge port connector here runs along under and goes under the motherboard so it's a pain in the butt you got to take the entire motherboard out just to do that you got this connector here specifically for the power button interesting so the power button has its own separate button right there and then you got this for the LCD LVDS connector if you're gonna be messing with this um, I highly recommend after removing the battery, pressing and holding the power button for 15 seconds. Um, that's pretty important because usually there's higher voltages running through here. And if you just pull it out, um, it can spark and fry something. Okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab the other computer. I'm 99% sure that it's going to be the same design, same speakers. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's actually take the speakers out of this thing real quick. Um, let's get these out. The other one, again, the other one is like pretty dirty and gross, so I'm probably just going to quickly just, um, pop it out or something. Uh, okay, we got two screws here. Not going to do too much explanation of the other one, because I think it's going to be about the same. And we're just going to put them on the same video, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and pop this up slightly carefully. Um, they're just held in with these rubber things, and then they have these little um, raised tabs that also hold it. All right, then we're going to just unroute this cabling here. I don't know if you guys need me to zoom in. All right, so we're going to unroute this cabling. Just come on, wiggle it out. There we go. Wiggle this one out. Okay, bring this one out. Get this. Um, why'd they hide? Why'd they put this cable like this? <laughs> Uh, they really gonna make my life hard, huh? Okay. So this cable, you want to be careful threading this back out because you can tear these things off. So you want to carefully push this and thread it through. And hopefully we're not gonna end up tearing that because that's gonna suck. All right. So pull that. Oh no, that blue tab, huh? Okay, so the blue tab's getting caught, so we need to push that down, and we'll thread it through this way. Okay, and there we go. Oh, the other one's coming out on its own. It wants to leave. Let's go ahead and get this through. Okay, get that out, get this out. There we go, and we'll unroute all of this stuff, unroute all this stuff. All right, let's see if we can actually see the bad speaker here. So, is it dust or is it actually bad? Um, I don't physically see. I mean, I can feel that this speaker, like, is so mushy. Um, is there actually a crack on it? So usually what happens is the membrane around it gets cracked, and that's why it's messed up. But uh, in this case, this one's just super mushy and this one like is harder to press. So I think what's going on is this speaker is just something happened inside. It's not holding up properly. Okay, anyways, let's go ahead and grab the other one and do the same exact thing. Um, this one we're going to go quick. Okay, um, I don't think I need to take the... Did I have to? Let's see here. RAM and hard drive. You don't need to touch that to get the bottom cover off, I don't think. So let's go ahead and do a speed run of this one. All right, I'm going to stay zoomed out here. I guess if you want, you can have the whatever numbers on here because that one is going into the garbage. Or not garbage, but e-waste. All right, anyways, whoever gets it first gets it. I don't know, free, free Windows 7 license. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and just get all these screws out real quick. Um, I'm wondering if I should even reassemble this or if I should just add this to my, um, my pile of screws. I think I'm just going to add it to my pile of screws because likely 
this computer is never going to be used again, or I don't know. All right, let's take all this out. Is there even a screw in there? There's no screw in there. Okay, there's no screw in there either. Okay, so this is missing a lot of screws already. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take the screws and add it to my container of screws. There's no screw in there either. Let's put that aside. Um, somebody forgot their USB thing here. All right. Uh, we don't need to take that out. Let's go ahead and take... Yeah, there's no screw in there either. <laughs> so many screws are missing here. All right, we got that. No screw in there either. Okay. Fine. All right. Um, this one, the screw's already, like, popping up, so let's just take that out. I don't need to, but... Okay, take all these screws. All right, there's no screw there either. Yeah, I'm going to add this to my pile of screws. Um, those screws are somewhat long, though, so I don't know if I'm going to ever use them. And this RAM... Is this RAM is better? Hey, this is 8 gigs DDR3. Maybe I should upgrade that other customer's computer because <sighs> when else are they going to have I don't know if it's two <sighs> I don't know if there's two sticks of 8 gigs or if it's um, or if it's uh, 8 gigs total so I don't know sometimes they sell them as sets I'm going to pop that back in I'm going to leave that there because I don't need that the hard drive oh there's no hard drive okay of course pop that back down okay Next, flip this back over, flip this open, it's so gross, but it's okay, we're not going to do anything with it, it's going to be like e-wasted. Alright, let's go back in the center, lift that up, work our way over to the outer edges, pop those clips up, just like this. Same thing, pull that inwards, pop that out, pull that inwards, there we go. And, oh, there's no backlight on this one, so this has the backlight connector, but no backlight. No, pull this. Get that keyboard out so technically this keyboard's good but who's gonna want this <laughs> i think you can buy these keyboards for like less than 20 bucks to clean all this stuff off that's gonna be a lot of work so that's gonna sit on the side there same exact connector design you got these little pull things here okay so we got that one we're gonna pull out come on all right got the speaker connector we're gonna wiggle 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 Wiggle, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and this one, the model number is P755, in case you're wondering. Okay, keep wiggling, keep wiggling. Looks like, is this plastic on here broken? Maybe somebody already broke this. I hope I'm not taking out the speakers and it's already going to be a broken speaker. That's going to suck. All right, anyways, we got this. And we're going to... Get underneath that blue tab and pull that out. Maybe I should keep this as spare parts I don't have to reconnect everything back together on this one uh, But anyways, let's get these screws out One and two, all right And this screw is like really stuck in there. There we go Okay, since we don't okay. Well, we have this Logitech mouse thing, but since it's built the same and we don't really need this, I think we can just pull this up. Let's see. No, it's still okay. Ah, I don't want to drop that. Okay, get over there. All right, let's see how we can pop this. We're going to do the same thing, I guess. Go over here first. Work your way over. Work your way over. All right, the SD card slot there's a little in the way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push with my thumb here and pull with my fingers here. And there we go. I'm gonna flip this back over and wait what <laughs> okay it only partially popped up so okay there we go then we're gonna work our way over to the sides here work our way over to the sides pop that up wiggle this all over the place there we go all right so here you can see the inside guts of this one same thing you have this here two USB ports audio jack you got this for the lights same thing same thing, power button here, that, that, same thing, all same, 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 same. Okay, let's set this aside. We're done with that one. All right, let's see. Are these speakers the same, though? These wires are thinner. <clears throat> Got the red and black one here. Looks, uh... Okay, looks 
pretty much the same. That scared me. I was holding it weird, and then it was like, sorry, you were probably just staring at the back of my head. And that looks about the same. So as long as the cables are long enough to reach the same spots, I think we should be good. Let's go ahead and pop these speakers out. I don't think I should even... Should I bother putting the other speakers back in there? Um, maybe just so somebody can have it as a... I don't know. <laughs> Alright, take those screws out. Take those screws out. Wait a minute. Um, I hope that's not going to be a problem. Okay, let's take these out. So on this design, are they the same? Shoot. The screw mount things on these are way different. So this one has different rubber. Maybe I can transfer the rubber pieces over and we'll be okay. Let's, let's see what we can do. We're going to pop this out. Speakers are speakers as long as the same wattage and whatever it should be okay I think so let's go ahead and get this out come on oh that's another thing let's thread this thing through as well um, just I guess shove it through there come on get in there shove that in there we go okay let's also check this this membrane seems better. I'm gonna at least clean it a tiny bit. I don't know, it's really dusty. Okay, let's go ahead and continue getting this out. Get out, okay. Hopefully this customer will be happy with this. Let's get this out. Assuming it's going to work. Okay, get that out, get that out, get it all out. Alright, so we got this out. As you can see, this is the screw from there, and this is the screw from the other one. Let me see if I can show you. That's the screw from the, the other model that I'm working on. So, what we're going to do, um, let's see, this one's okay. Let's kind of brush this up. If we're lucky... We're lucky these speakers are okay too, I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and thread this through. If those speakers are bad, I mean, we can't really do anything about it. The age of the materials is probably what's causing it to go bad and start crackling. We're going to set that aside. Okay, we got the old and the new speakers. So, these are the original ones that we're going to get. Um, you can see the rubber... Oh, let's zoom in here. Okay, so you can see the speaker design is almost exactly the same um, other than these rubber pieces. So let's go ahead and pull these rubber pieces out and swap them over. So we'll give you these wide opened, uh, if you want to be dirty about it, used uh, non-versional ones. There we go. Let's pull this out. We'll pull this out and we're going to swap it over. Okay. And then, hopefully after that, we can just swap the speakers into the other one, and we should be okay, because they look exactly the same. Let's see, this says 40HM 1.5 watt. This says, sorry, but we put a sticker over it, so you don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and continue swapping these rubber pieces. Oops, sorry, I'm going out of view here for you guys. Put the bigger open rubber pieces into this. I'm sorry, I, maybe I should zoom out more because it's too close up. I can't get it into view. Okay, get that in. There we go. Take that one out and stick this one and get this one back in. There we go. I mean, it looks pretty much the same, so have a feeling it should be perfectly fine. Probably should have played the audio on it just to give you a before and after, but okay, there we go. We got that and we got this one. Uh, maybe I should put it back together and I'm just going to put like a big like X to show that the speaker's bad. I don't know. Um, uh, what happened to my silver, my old one? 
Alright, anyways, I guess I'll get a new one here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, big X, big X, sorry, but you lose. Okay, what else? This side and this side. So I know these speakers are bad. I can say like static or something, crackly. Crackly, I don't know. Can't fit it on here now. Crackly, crackly. There we go. All right, let's go ahead now and reassemble two laptops at the same time. Got this one here. Wait, I shouldn't have threaded that back. Okay, let's start that back in, out, whatever. Okay, push that through, get that out. All right, well, one thing is I'm getting more experience with this model, not that I need it, because who's gonna bring me another one of these? I don't think anybody will. Let's get that in. Perfect, let's do this uh, quick, quick, quick. Get that in. Get that in. Okay, get this in. And get this in. And maybe to be safe, I'm gonna write on top of this panel about the speakers. I don't know, but then I can't uh, reuse it. So, okay, anyways, let's get this all into place. It's hard to see what I'm doing from back here, but. In order for you guys to see, I think I somewhat have to stay back here. Okay, let's see, we're just threading this stuff all around here. Getting it all back in place. Okay. There, please, there we go. Alright, last one up this way. Perfect. Blue one, blue one, blue one. It looks like everything is lining up nicely, so I think we should actually be good to go. Come on, get in there, please. Please. Okay. Oh, red and black one. Okay. Go in this one. And then get all this routed this way. That way and into this and into this and and I don't know which way this is supposed to go I'm gonna guess it's like that there we go let's go ahead and put this ugly dirty one back together flip that over flip that on top okay um, I'm not gonna plug all that stuff back in because it's unnecessary but I guess I will at least snap this stuff together. Here you can see we can get this back in. Um, I probably should have paid attention to which side faces up, but I'm pretty sure this side faces up. You might want to double check my video. I'm just going to check. So now I have the exposed pin part faced up. Yeah, that's right. I remember now because when I was slightly pulling it out, I could see that. All right, so let's get this all lined back up. Not that it's important because we're not going to put everything back properly. Oh, I hear broken stuff inside there. Okay, well, there we go. Let's get these screws back in real quick. Okay, just in case somebody brings another one of these old guys back. The one thing is, this is an i7. I think this is like second, third, no, this is probably like third generation. I don't know, that's what the logo if I remember correctly, that's what the logo is. All right, let's get all this junk back together. Um, okay, I'm not gonna connect that for now. We'll, we'll, you guys will see how to connect everything back when I do the other video or the other model um, because that's the one that I actually have to have back in place properly. Okay, get all of that in. Let's close this up and uh -oh, flip this over. And I'm not sure how I'm going to know where, what screws go where because there were so many missing ones. But um, get this back in. And I didn't really pay attention as much to where I took it from. So let's get the CD drive one. Okay, let's get these four up here. I'm just going to loosely do it. I'm not even going to tighten them in all the way because 
They just need them enough that they don't fall out on their own. These are just going to be in storage for a long time. And then I'm eventually going to have to take it out again anyway. So there we go. And then I'm guessing we had one here. I'm guessing we had one here. And for some reason we had all these side screws. So we're just going to get all these back in. Alright, anyways. Enough with this junk parts laptop. I've got two more screws. I guess we'll put that there. And put that there. Okay, good enough, right? I don't know about the RAM. I'm gonna see, maybe I will, I'll test that RAM and see what we got. Put that laptop there. Let's go ahead and get the nice one, the nice clean one out. And since we swapped over the rubber pieces, we should be okay here to line this back up. Good, all right, this is, is this twisted weird some way? I don't know, whatever, okay. We, shouldn't, we won't have to twist it too much, so it should be fine. Let's get these speaker screws back in. Okay, that one. And I'm actually curious which one is newer. Let me actually see if I can, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna flip it over and look at the label. Oops. Yeah, why'd they design it like this? The screw mount is so low down. All right, there we go. This one, Windows 7 AMD Vision. Oh, okay, so they're probably similar age. Um, yeah, so I don't know which one is the newer, better design. I'm going to assume the AMD is the newer one. Um, I don't know if it's just because it's clean. <laughs> I don't know. They're both, they're both really old computers. Okay, so this is not going to want to stay in, is it? Okay, I have to twist it the other way, maybe. There we go. Not that these cables really need to really stay in place. It's not... Let me actually zoom in so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. There you go. Basically, you have to twist it so that it goes sideways, and then you can twist it back to flat. And that's how it will stay in the slot. But again, it's not super important it stays in the slot because once you get everything all lined up it will it's not going anywhere all right get that in okay route this over here route this over here 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 okay now so, oops i don't know what you guys were able to see because i was too busy looking at what i was doing not looking at the camera Let's get all this. I mean, it should be self-explanatory. You just reroute the cables back where it came from. Okay. If you can't figure that out, I don't know. Okay. There we go. Get that in. Get this in. Get the red one back in first. And the blue one in after. There we go. Okay. Oops, sorry. There we go. We got everything lined back up. Let's zoom back out. Zumba, Zumba. Okay. Let's get this over here. Zoom out a bit more. Okay. Line this all up. Make sure nothing is disconnected if you messed with anything else. Get this back lined into place. We're going to... Um, okay, that wire's like that. Um, if you want, you can work on snapping the back end first because that's how we, the opposite of how we popped it out, and that's usually how you want to snap it back in. Okay, there we go. Then we can go down the sides here and click all that into place. Nice. Oh no! <laughs> Forgot this cable. Let's pop this back out. Ooh, got ahead of myself. All right. Pop this thing back out. All right, this time should be a bit faster because we're just gonna, right? Okay. All right, wiggle that around, wiggle this around. Wiggle, wiggle, and there we go. Wiggle, wiggle, come on, let go. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, make sure to get this cable back in. 
Oops, like this, just like that. Flip that back over. Okay, now we got this right. Hopefully I didn't damage this cable or anything. And this card thing was coming out, so we'll get that back in. Click on, um, I probably should have done this side first. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pull up the center part so that I can basically do that side first. Okay, basically I'm arcing it like that. There we go. Then what we can do, we can close this up and we can ensure that these clips go in. Perfect. Okay, good. Flip this back over, and actually this RAM, okay, this is two gig, two gig, so either way, let's pop this stuff out, and I don't know, I'll have to see what the customer wants to do, but let's go ahead and pop these in. I think, I think this might be just a set of two four gigs to make an eight gig set, because if this is two eight gig sticks, I'm going to keep it for upgrades if somebody needs um yeah because two four gig sticks isn't as um hard to come across all right let's go ahead and start reconnecting everything here we'll zoom in zoom grab this blue part line it up pull it back get that into place oh my goodness this cable's tough okay get it lined up make sure it's straight into place then you kind of hold it up at 90 degrees and then you push towards the bottom of that connector and pull. And there we go. You can see that went in. All right, let's see here. We got the speaker connector here. Just get that lined up. I think the position's a little different. And then push that in, there we go. Then we got this blue cable down here, same thing. Grab the blue tab, line it up, get it into there centered, then Grab that, 90 degrees, and while you're kind of holding both sides, push at the bottom, and there we go, slide that in. Let's go ahead and zoom back out. Okay, there we go. We got two screws, one down here. Other one up here. Make sure they're, they're, make sure they're in all the way. Is the sun coming out yet? Not yet. <laughs> All right, we got keyboard. Here we go. All right, so make sure the, huh. Okay, some models have a fingerprint sensor apparently because this says JFP, which is fingerprint, usually. Um, and we're gonna pull these tabs out. Shoot, okay, these, these speaker cables might be in my way. Get out of here, please. Okay, we'll pull that over. Um, this has way more slack, so we're gonna actually put this in first, and I'm gonna do it from this side so you can kind of see better. Let me zoom in. The keyboard one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show, um, but yeah, anyways, you get that in while that thing is pulled back, while those tabs are pulled back, and then while you have this in place, if you have three hands, it'll be easier. But anyways, you gotta pull this, these tabs back. Um, I can show it with this tool so my hand's not in the way as much. But basically, you pull this. Let me actually use one fingernail and do that. So there you go. All right, so that's how you do that. Um, we're gonna basically do the same thing with the keyboard, but the cable is much shorter. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show this or not. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to show this. You're just gonna be seeing like my hand and my arm or whatever. Okay, so it helps to, let me zoom in here, or zoom out, sorry. So it helps to not have the keyboard all the way back here. You can kind of put it over here. That way you have a little bit more um, slack to work with. If my face and head gets in the way, I'm sorry, but I'm doing what I gotta do to fix this thing. Get these wires out of my way, please. Okay, make sure that latches all the way out. Okay, we gotta get this in. Get it lined up, slide that in place. Good, and again, you probably need three arms or hands, but I'm gonna try and hold it with my thumb like that and push this in and then keep holding this in and push the other side. Okay, and then you wanna make sure the other side didn't pop back out and we should be good. All right, let's zoom out again. I don't know how much of my face and 
my hair you were seeing, but there we go. Slide the bottom down in first. You can see it's up like this. Now while holding the center, work your way up the sides. Keep holding the center, work your way up the other sides. You can hear it click. And then you can go ahead and go across the top. And there we go. We got that all snapped in. Let's close this up. Flip this baby over. Okay. I don't know if this RAM is good or not, so we'll see if it boots up with that. We're going to put the hard drive in there first. Come on. Okay. That's not lined up right. Okay. We've got to start it. Come on. Okay. So these screws actually line up with notches here. So you have to get that in. And then you slide the whole hard drive down. Then you can go ahead and use this pull tab here to get it locked in. If the pull tab's broken, you can kind of get something to wedge and pull that way. Okay, hard drive cover on. Oh, don't lose that screw. Okay, and we'll get this in. I'm probably gonna have to check the model number of this laptop here so that you guys can get that. That's one nice thing with the new computers. There's no um, keys on there that people can take. It's all actually stored online, if you're wondering. I'm gonna leave this off for now. Okay, and now let's go ahead. I probably didn't even get a good thumbnail of this stuff. <laughs> well, whatever. All right, we're going to get these four screws back in there. Bottom. So this one actually kept all the screws in order, so I'm actually going to get all the screws back in, okay? I don't think there were any missing screws on this one. If there were, I do have a whole other laptop to take them from. All right, anyways, uh, that... Let's get the CD optical drive back in there. Slide that back in. Okay, screw over here. Screw over here. Screw over here. Another screw over here. Another screw over here. All right, we're almost done. Eight more screws. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Other than that, you're welcome to stay. I'm going to put all the screws in and we're going to power this up. I don't know if the battery still has a charge. I might have to get the charger and plug it in. Um, it's been sitting a while. I think the customer brought this to me several weeks, maybe a month ago. Um, but yeah, they said they only use this when they go traveling and because of COVID, they're not traveling. So that's why it's been sitting. Um, I need deadlines. Otherwise, I procrastinate a lot. So <laughs> yeah. All right. This one I figured. Why not? I'm not tired. Let's go ahead and go for it. We'll slide this back in, push that lock back over. Um, if you're wondering the actual full model number, let's see here. So we got this Toshiba Satellite A665D-S6051. That's the full model number. The other one, does it even have the sticker? Yes, it does. So the other one is a... P755 S5393. Okay, there we go. We'll set that aside. That's the old broken one. Let's see what we got here. Is it going to power up? And it's powering on. Power light's good. <sighs> Screen's coming on, so it's detecting the new RAM, no problem. And it's booting Windows 10. So we should be good. I'm going to have to play some audio. I don't know if they put a password or anything on it. We'll find out soon enough. Did I open the CD drive on accident? Okay, CD drive is good. It's taking a while to boot. That's one other thing. I highly recommend SSD upgrades on every computer I work on. If you have a spinning drive, what are you waiting for? Go get an SSD, clone it. It's very easy to do and pretty inexpensive for for what you what you get performance wise all right anyways i'm putting back the ram door i mean if you can't figure that out i don't know you got this far so um, basically what you want to do for the ram door if you're stuck there 
Okay, I think it's initializing the new RAM. That's why it's taking so long to boot. Um, but anyways, um, the door, you want to kind of flex it this way. So if you're having trouble putting the clips back in, hold this side up a little and then push those in. All right, anyways, we'll flip this back over. Um, it's so far still hasn't booted. I see the mouse thing. You can see it's spinning around, spinning around. And that's because it's a hard drive. So if you put an SSD, it's going to boot this thing like... Whoosh. All right. Um, is it really this late? Friday, March 11th, 5.50 a.m. All right. That's what time it is right now. Um, okay, so it's booting up. I don't know their password, but the boot sound was good. Before, the boot sound was like... <laughs> I should have recorded that. Anyways, um, I think I have the password, so let me try and sign on. Oops, let me try and sign on here real quick. Give me a second. Uh, two. Oops, stop it. Okay, two. Oh, I can't read it. They put, like, cursive. <laughs> but the cursive... Okay, that was right. Okay. Um, anyways, it's saying battery low on their thing. Um, do I have enough time to play some audio here? Um, what do I got? I don't think I have enough time here. Let's go to the sound. Sound settings. Actually, I'm going to open the media player and see if there's any audio in there. Let me go see about getting their charger real quick. I'll be back in a bit, guys. All right, I'm back. As you can see, I got the charger and I plugged it in. Um, do they got any music lying around? Okay, hopefully I'm not going to get copy. Oh, is there a hard drive making click noises? Okay, hopefully I'm not going to get some copyright whatever thing infringement. Um, I don't see any, they have music, but I don't know. I'm probably going to get, if you ever get famous, <laughs> uh, e-music, these are all like 2009 stuff, so I'm probably going to get in trouble if I play it. Um, okay, well, we'll just play something, I guess. Everything will be all right. <laughs> I guess that's, we just want to hear a little bit. I'm not... Sounds fine. <laughs> Normally it would be all crackly, so I think we're good there. Anyways, that's pretty much it. We're going to shut this down. And um, I don't know. The hard drive is randomly making like click, click every so often. The computer other than that is working fine. Um, I would recommend they put an SSD. I'm going to see what they want to do. I have a feeling they're going to say, well, it's an old computer, so they're not too worried about it. But I don't know. I think their other computer, it was bad. I put an SSD. It made a huge difference, and they were happy with it. So maybe they'll actually want to go with that as well on this one. All right. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Let's drop this. Bye. And yes, <laughs> it is daylight outside now. Actually, the camera's making it a lot brighter than it actually is. It's pretty dark outside, but... But there is like sunlight I can see.